Okay, this is the Sony Sansa. Uh, this is the Philips. This is the Philips. You can see my reflection. It's, uh, you can see the red dot. This is, um, see, it says, uh, you can't read it, but it says, it says, Go Gear Vibe 4 Gigabytes. That's what it says. Let me see if I can get a good. There we go. Go Gear Vibe 4 Gigabytes. That's the sticker. It got peeled a little bit, but it's really good. Um, it's got a couple of t ports to attach it to. Let's see, you've got USB on your right, headphone jack on your left, and in the middle uh, is there's a special function for that, but nobody really needs needs it right now. And of course, you got your teeny, teeny, tiny uh, reset button right there. That little hole below the headphone jack. It's the re now this particular USB is compatible with any Garmin product uh, USB cable like Garmin the um, GPS. Whoops, that's my flashlight. It is compatible with the PS3. Yes, the PS3. And there's my controller and the box for this or the package there's my phone and the remote anyway <clears throat> that's the TV uh, it is compatible with the charging cable for this as well um, but and you can actually play it and charge it as you would any other you know device that's hooked into so give the Philips a try you do need to keep um, I think it's a couple of kilobytes free so you can't have it hundred percent full or else it can't update itself when you're putting new music on but it's very easy it plays videos it can store pictures it it's a nice all-around I got it for twenty five dollars and this thing it's a little scratched but I mean it's taken a pretty nice beating but it's still around I've tried to treat it better recently so it's compact um, you can see my thumb put my thumb next to it it's about from my thumb to the to the last knuckle so it's not that it's not really that big I mean compare it to a you know water bottle it's about you know a third of the size and it's not very thick it's very it's very uh, thin but it's not real thin it's it's about the it's exactly the thickness of three quarters if you were to lay them, uh, you know, like facing you side to side, and it's almost two and a half quarters up. So that's the Philips four gigabyte, excellent, excellent piece. Then it, it, it can stay on for up to uh, six hours if you were to just mess around with all the buttons. If you don't mess with the buttons very often, the booklet says it can last up up to eight hours on a single charge. Um, an hour and a half is plenty of time to charge this if you just need like two and a half to three hours of play or if you want to listen to the radio that's included on here um, it, just charge it for like half an hour and I guarantee you'll have at least three bars that fourth bar is just you know a lot of extra energy okay well I'm gonna turn it on the buttons on the side here are gonna be uh, this is your power button over here and the button, these side buttons, this is your volume right here. And over here, that's your extra like features for songs, like to add it to a playlist, to delete the song, because sometimes this thing, if your file isn't uh, converted correctly, the songs, that when they're transferred to the Philips, can become uh, slower, and you'll notice it when you try to play the song. But you just delete them, you can try reloading them, and sometimes that works. If it doesn't, then you need to find another version, or try downloading it in a wave, although it'll take more space, and that seems to help quite a bit. So anyway, let's turn on this side, turn the power on, you gotta hold it to it, to that screen, then you can let go. Okay, so now it's gonna tell me, that was my last song I was playing. Well, you see, you can see it's a full charge on your left, 
right here is the is the uh, battery level this is the song in the listings so blank out of un if you don't if the computer doesn't recognize the name that it'll put it under unknown uh, album unknown artist but you if you title it right in the file then it'll you, then you'll know what you're looking for um, and this over here signifies that it's music right there and this is what again what 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 stage it is oh see I got the backlight set pretty far so all you gotta do is hit a button any button but the power button don't hit the power button that's bad and we're gonna back back so now we have some options we have all saw oh wait we have music video pictures FM radio recordings you can record yourself and folders for anything extra which I've never had to use and of course the settings which is where all this takes place you have a red blue and I think white background so last playlist last play that was the song that you last played when this was turned on so now under music which is your most common thing you'll have all songs by artist so unknown artist is for all those ones that you never bother to um, change in your computer albums by album that's more difficult unless you're looking for a specific spot playlists I don't have any audiobooks this is a cheaper version for the Kindle Fire <laughs> so let's go to artists it's gonna be your com most common okay wild cherry white snake weird Al wave files that's something extra but it's it's just because that's the only way version I have it in well that's Native American I'm not gonna go through your playlist but anyway if it doesn't have a name uh, you know, on your computer like on Windows Media Player if it's not if you haven't changed it on there you just have to go to unknown artist then it goes by unknown artist per album so Elton John escape that's Pina Colada song F-Zero all that good stuff so I'm gonna go should have gone all the way so we got Rick Springfield I mean we got just a little bit of everything on here unknown album this is where you will probably find most of your songs at the beginning until you actually title them so now we're going left right up down left and right are usually used to select or go back up and down is to select which option you want so left to confirm or right to confirm now you have every single unknown song so depending on how you titled the file this is where you'll find it 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 starts off uh, with how you enter it into the system so let's say you had REM first and then you had Queen and all of a sudden you decided to put another Queen song in Nirvana this will go by the date you added it per by album so they're all unknown albums so they're all going to be uh, by date that you inserted it sometimes it mixes it up by popularity and other things if that's included um, I also think some, it, at first it was doing it by, by size, but I don't know why I updated it and it changed, so now it doesn't do that, but uh, this is pretty much it, yeah, and just, you know, keep a headphone jack in there and you'll be able to listen, and it's really easy, it'll turn off, it's a great battery saver, and when you want to turn it off, just hold the uh, lock button here, if you hold it down once, if you push it up, up, it'll lock, so if you happen to accidentally change anything, it won't. Yeah, or if you want it, if you like bump it in your pocket at work or something, it won't change. Now you got to do is hold it down again, and it'll unlock. See, it unlocked. And to turn it off, you just hold this down till it says goodbye, or bye, bye bye, and that's it. So that's the Sony. I keep wanting to say my old one, the Sony Santa. This is the Philips uh, Go Gear Vibe, four gigabyte. You can store a lot of songs on there, and hopefully, you can get you can find it fairly easy at most you know electronic stores. Walmart, I, I know Walmart doesn't carry them right now. Uh, you can find them real cheap on eBay. They're really great, and most of the parts are made here. So, yay for American standard. Um, anyway, that's my review of the Philips Go Gear Vibe. Hope y'all enjoyed.